Hello Combarder fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today I'm taking a look at something a little different, something I never thought I would take a look at on a Toku themed channel, and that's a Nendroid. So <laughs> Nendroids, I have never had one before. I know that they are very popular, a very big collectible figure line. Uh, I've seen a lot of them. My girlfriend Katie has a huge collection of anime ones, and they've never dived into Toku, thankfully for my wallet. However, in 2023, because of Shin Ultraman and Shin Kamen Rider movies coming out, those ones they actually were able to get the rights to, I suppose, and do Nendroids on, so we have one. So uh, This is thanks to my girlfriend, though. She did buy this for me as a Christmas gift, so huge thanks to her. Uh, now, I actually do have another Nendroid. It's not a Sentai or Rider one, of course, well, there are no Sentai ones, uh, but it's the SpongeBob Nendroid, which I'll be taking a look at over on my second channel, Too Many Topics, so if you want to check that out, uh, that'll be going up the same day as this video is on this channel. But this is really cool. Uh, I love Shin Kamen Rider. Excellent, excellent movie. So happy I was able to see it in theaters here in the U.S. If you haven't seen it, I think it's on Amazon Prime. Definitely recommend it. Uh, so this is really cool. So this is number 200 or 2,211 in the Nendroid series. Shin Kamen Rider. I, I think his uh, eyes light up, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, it's fantastic. I love his little chibi dude. Uh, it's kind of like an articulated kind of Funko Pop kind of. You know, that's kind of the best way I would describe an Android uh, Mass Rider there. Really, really cool on the top. There he is in a little rider kick pose. Look at him go. He's going to kick like Little Shock here. It's so cute. On the bottom, there he is with the trench coat, which you do get as a swappable piece, which will probably be how I display him, because I really like the trench coat, so, <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is fantastic, Ninjoids are a little pricey, this was like 50 something dollars or something like that, uh, but let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at what it has to offer. Okay, oh, the scarfs are trying to escape, so let's go ahead and take those out, uh, you get some swappable hand and leg options, you do get a little stand, which I greatly appreciate and will be using for sure gonna let all the pieces fall out we're just gonna let it happen so we'll grab that you get a lot of little peg holes you can choose from so i like that you do get one of those stand arm pieces as per usual as you would expect so that is nice uh, we'll put those off to the side uh, we have a ton of swappable arm and leg pieces and let's take this oh they even have helmet details back there that's fantastic so here is the bonnie Looking very good, very little, very little, <laughs> very cute. Well, it is very little, but <laughs> look at that. Uh, let's see, what scarf do we want to use? Is that peg in on his back or something? Is that how this works? Or does it peg in? Oh, no, it pegs him right here on the collar piece. So you have a couple different options for the scarves. You can have this more sort of uh, blowing in the wind scarf, uh, or you can have just this kind of uh, resting scarf. Well, no, actually, I guess that one's a little bit more blowing in the wind now that I think about it. Uh, but I think I prefer the other one, personally. You know, some of his head was kind of exposed in the film. So I really like that. And look at all the detail. They have the Bata, uh, you know, Aug, 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 Aug or whatever it was, uh, number one there with the logo and the hair sticking out. That's awesome. Look at the dude. <laughs> I really like it. But I feel like the arms are kind of getting in the way. Oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, the arms are getting in the way. And I just noticed because there are swappable ones for the trench coat. There we go. Yeah, there's pegs on the sides. Okay, I see what's going on here. So, oh, it looks like you have some sleeve options. Oh, for the trench coat, it looks like. Well, that's kind of nice. Um, so I think that's going to go here. Peg that in, and then I think, is there a hand? Is there supposed to be a hand at the end of that trench coat, or does this hand come out? Oh, this hand looks like it might come out of there. Okay, I see what's going on. So we can take this hand, or this entire arm piece, and we can plug it into there. there it's like kind of the henshin pose, which is what I'm going to probably pose him as, because I really like that. Uh, actually, before we put the helmet back on, so, I can't remember if this is supposed to light up or not. It kind of looks like it does. Give me a space off of the eyes. Uh, let's see. So, according to the instructions, uh, you have kind of how the stands are supposed to work. Uh, you get a naked dude. Uh, oh, yeah, no, right there. Yeah, you can take the face apart, and there are LR44s. Yeah, this does light up. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, hold on. 
All right, actually, that was super simple. It just comes apart like that. Uh, is there, please, some of these batteries already in here. Oh, there's a little tab. Oh, that's really tiny batteries. Not LR44s, they're LR41s. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> Yo! Oh, that's freaking awesome. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's get the stand set up and everything uh, so that you can peg that into his back. And there he is. And oh man, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, it's so good. I love the little pose. love the trench coat. The stand is very sturdy. I see why Nendroids are so popular. This is fantastic. So let's go ahead and take a look at the lights uh, with the lights off. And take a look at that. So <laughs> I really like it. So, wow, that's really cool. Because I think it did light up a couple times on the movie, if I remember correctly. So this is a really neat representation of that. What a cool feature. But yeah, you get some swappable legs that are kind of at an angle. Uh, then you do get one, this one, that's for like a rider kick pose, which is really neat. So definitely a lot of little options there. I'm not sure exactly why you get another neck joint. Maybe it's just kind of have a backup or something because I can't think of what he would need that for. Uh, but here he is <laughs> once again. Oh, totally not in focus, but very, very cool. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love it tremendously. I would have loved for them to have made like, you know, Comrade Nego as well. I would have loved Comrade like Zero. Uh, this is awesome. But hey, at least we got one. <laughs> one Comrade Nendroid on a line known for like anime figures and stuff like that. I can see uh, why these are so popular. All right, and with that, that is going to do it for my review of the Nendroid series 2211 Shin Comrade from Shin Comrade. Or I guess technically just Mass Rider from Shin Comrade. It doesn't actually say. Uh, Shin Kamarder on the box, but I highly recommend this thing. I don't know if he's still in stock anywhere. If he is in stock on like HLJ, I will include an affiliate link to that in the description below. Uh, but I highly recommend it. If you have never collected an, an Android, this is kind of a good representation of sort of what you get with it. Very nicely constructed. I think the quality is really good. Uh, sometimes the joints want to pop out very easily. It was a little hard kind of getting some pieces to swap, but Besides that, it's a really nice figure. Love the light up feature, and I just needed some Shin Martyr like merchandise to represent it in my collection, and this is perfect. So, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Do you collect Androids? Uh, do you have this one? Did you even know this one existed? Uh, there is the Shin Ultraman one. I'll probably try to pick that one up at some point, uh, but I love it. So, like I said earlier in this video, there will be a kind of sort of follow-up or companion video to this releasing on my second channel where I take a look at the Spongebob Nendroid if you kind of want to get to a range of or feel the range of products that they have uh, that'll be going up literally at the same time that this video is going up on this channel so go ahead and head over there it will be linked in the in the end card here in a second uh, but yeah that's gonna do it so until next time you guys can follow me on Twitter at Living Ranger Key or Atlantic PR and I will see you all later to wrap up this video I'd like to thank my five dollars and above patrons Jurassic Samurai Maggot Alchemist, Robert Browning, Static Thunder, Brendan Overland, Maji Yellow, MCPC Studios, James Darty, Matthew Thorne, Josh Landry, Pyramidus, CBT Tesla, Cross SCV, Gaboose Ed, Socket Monsters, Daniel Pika, Hella Geo, Thrasher, Jesus Prime, Louis Carnes, and Carlos Alfredo. You can support Toku Topics for as little as $1 a month on my Patreon, linked in the description below.